Hello everyone and welcome to my tutorial. In this video I will show you how to edit your images quickly to get this really nice warm effect that works really well on family images and on any outdoor portraits basically. Uh, you can do this using a camera or Lightroom so that will be your choice and uh, also for those who seek more professional retouching knowledge, make sure you check the description, uh, some information about me and also the link to the free course on retouching essentials. And right now, let's start from the beginning. So I am going to start from Adobe Bridge where I like to locate my image. And as this is a raw file, I can just double hit and I will be moved to camera raw. So the first step, I do in camera is checking actually color profile. I want to make sure that Adobe Color is the best choice and maybe not. So I go into the profiles and I don't have to check all of the profiles actually, but um, one thing I usually check is the difference between Adobe Color and camera matching standard. And if camera matching standard look better for certain image, I will go with camera matching standard. And I like the way the colors looks, the shadows. So that's why I'm choosing camera matching standard here. Then uh, it's good to try pressing auto button. I'm not saying you have to go with the settings after pressing auto button, but it's good to see how the image uh, would look with auto adjustments. I feel the effect is too strong. That's why I'm pressing command or control and Z together because that was not the settings I was looking for. So I still want to bring up the shadows, just not as much as it was. Also, I feel this image is quite dark, so I'm bringing up the exposure, maybe up to 50. And right now I want to take down the highlights. When it comes to the whites and blacks, uh, this is something optional, but uh, you can try to manipulate with this. Uh, usually I go only with shadows, highlights, sometimes a little bit whites and blacks. This image got a little bit flat, so I'm also increasing the contrast up to maybe around 20. The next step here, will be going up with the vibrance. But also, as I increased the contrast and the vibrance, I'm afraid that skin could be a little bit too orangey. And this is also the reason why I'm choosing the vibrance over the saturation, because the vibrance do not really affect the oranges as much. But as I go up with the vibrance, I go down with the saturation for sure. Maybe around this level. Also, at this stage, if I want to change the temperature, I want this image to be warm, I want this image to have some autumn color, and this is why I will drag the temperature in a different direction here. So I want to make this image warmer, but I also don't want to make it too yellow. It's getting a little bit yellow, but it's okay, we can control this, but now it has the colors I like more. After that, um, moving to hue saturation luminance adjustments panel and few things I'm doing I'm taking down the luminosity from the color blue I don't want it to be as bright then I'm moving to hue and I also want to manipulate with the color blue to have more of this uh, cyan color it will match nicer to the atmosphere I'm trying to create when it comes to the yellows, I want them to be more orangey for sure. And this thing I mentioned before, when it comes to oranges also, I'm going to move it a little bit to make the colors uh, more into the red tones instead of the yellow tones. The same with the greens. But this is all. I don't want to do more. And then I'm going to saturation and I might add some more saturation to the yellows. I don't really want to add saturation to the blue background for the blue sky. I think it would be too dominating on this image. So I would rather be careful with this. After that, I'm going to the split toning and I want to add some warmer colors. So that will be hue for both around 25 to 35 to 40, uh, just the orange tone. 
and I'm going to add saturation for both of these. And this is looking the way I really want now. Uh, if the skin getting too saturated, don't worry about this. We can always do a step back and go back to the saturation, to the panel hue saturation luminance and take down some of the saturation on the orange color. And that would work well. So after these three panels, I might check the panel that is called calibration, where we have three different channels with different color lights, which is red light, green light, and blue light. We can manipulate with hue of this. So for example, if I will move the hue here, I will be manipulating hue on the red pixels, here on the green pixels, and here on the blue pixels. So usually we have most of the red pixels. All of these uh, three lights um, together create the image. It's not really about the colors, but it's about how the pixels are located here. What I might do, I might try to manipulate just a little bit more with the saturation on the blue pixels, but not much. So uh, this panel, I would say, is the optional. You can try to manipulate to achieve the certain effect, but the previously three panels are the main panels I would use here. So uh, this effect, I'm quite happy with it right now. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to zoom in somewhere around here. And I want to sharpen this image just a little bit. So I'm going to increase the slider with the texture in the basic panel and just a little bit of clarity. Not too much because I don't want this image to be too contrasty, to have this a little bit dirty look. And also, what's left here, I don't really like the frame. So I want to crop this image. So I'm going to the crop and I'm choosing four to five. Then I'm gonna adjust it by myself. And I'm going to create some really nice frame here. Maybe something around this. So we have whole model in the frame and we will not have too many things um, bothering us in the background. So uh, this crop seems quite reasonable. I'm just going to hit enter and uh, that's it. So that was easy adjustment. You can see this is before and this is after. So I created this, wanted to show you um, how with few simple steps you can make really nice colors on the image, working really well on family images or natural light portraits.